Former Dodger Carl Erskine, who pitched in Brooklyn, and then when the team moved to Los Angeles, he was the very first guy to throw a pitch at the Los Angeles Coliseum. So the very first guy to throw a pitch at a Dodger home game in Los Angeles. And earlier today, our Kelly Tennant had a chance to visit with him. Here now, the legend, Carl Erskine. It's such a pleasure to be with you. I know this is a special day. You get to interact with the current Dodgers, but what was that like? Well, you know, they look at me like, no kidding, this guy played Major League Baseball. <laughs> well, I was an average-sized player and a pitcher. And, uh, but I pitched for 14 uh, years in the Dod Dodger organization, 12 in the big leagues. Ten of those were in Brooklyn. Two were in Los Angeles. I was always pleased to have been a transition player. I did get to pitch the opener in Los Angeles in 1958. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, we beat the Giants that day. So <laughs> one of my great memories. The rivalry continues. I heard you telling Dave Roberts about memories of Sandy Koufax and Jackie Robinson. What were you telling him? Well, he was asking me some couple of questions about uh, when Sandy came up. Now, Sandy came right off the sandlots of Brooklyn, but he never had a chance to play in the minors because he'd been paid a bonus, and there was a rule that uh, the owners had. Uh, if you got a certain amount of money, you could not option the player to the minors. Now, the Dodgers are a great teaching organization, and he missed all of that uh, fundamentals that uh, come with playing in the minors. So it took Sandy five years to become the great pitcher he was because in the first four or five, he's just a mediocre, wild, hard-thrown kid. But once he got his act together, <laughs> nobody's been better than Sandy. And I was privileged to play with a lot of Hall of Famers. Uh, our captain was Pee Wee Reese, a Hall of Famer. My catcher for over 1,500 innings, probably. I pitched to Roy Campanella, uh, Hall of Famer. Uh, uh, my roommate was Duke Snyder, a great center fielder, <laughs> Hall of Famer. Uh, I'm actually in the Hall of Fame by association. <laughs> Well, I get traded uh, to, in L.A. I, I didn't pitch much in L.A. It was right at the end of my career. Um, opening day, I got to pitch and a few other times. But then I had to retire with arm trouble. But when I go to L.A., believe me, the fans there treat me like I played my whole career in L.A. And that's a great feeling. Today, to be in the clubhouse and uh, be in first place, oh, boy. That's a dream for me. That has to feel good. And, of course, they're going to be seeing the Giants this week, so the rivalry continues. Thank you for joining yes. us. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. And my honor, my, believe me. Thank you, Carl.